What's up, queens and kings? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Here at Queen Budgets, we are tackling all things financial from budgeting by paycheck, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, debt payoff, while currently on a low income and a single mom of three. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, I invite you to hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification. Go ahead and join the shmoney team, baby, because we lit and we're over here getting our shmoney to together. So what is up guys? It is a whole nother month. Happy July. I am so excited about, we are literally like more than halfway through the year. Like, um, I did not have the opportunity to do a July 1st budget with me, but I still was able to pay my rent, pay my first couple of bills that was due, and I just left the rest of the money in my buffer. Y'all know I went through a big hit financially when I had to pay the down payment for my car. So moving forward today, we are going to be budgeting July 10th paycheck. This is my paycheck from work, y'all. And let's just say, sis been working, but it has been paying off. So if you have been following me from the beginning of my journey, I remember when it was points in times where I was not even able to stuff a $100 I did not have money left over after I paid my bills. I had to literally live on a bare bones budget. So things are getting better for me, even though I'm having to work a lot harder. You know, hard work pays off. So let's start out with one of our positive cards. Let's start out with our card for the day. And the quote says, being a praying woman does not mean that you'll never have bad days. It means you are willing to find beauty even in the ugliest days. And those of you who know me, y'all know that I can find the beauty in almost any situation. I am not allowing anything to get me down. And I want you guys to radiate the same energy, okay? Our scripture for the day is Psalms 130 verse 7. Hope in the Lord. Okay? And we just we're gonna we gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? I mean it's self-explanatory right there. Hope in the Lord, baby. Okay, so I'm having a great Saturday, guys. This is my first Saturday off in a while, so I'm super happy to enjoy some time off. I will be back recording some content for you guys, and I also have to be the rich auntie and take my niece and nephew to the mall so that they can try Korean corn dogs for the first time. So we're going to make this video as speedy as possible. And also, I would like to give a huge shout out to KTW Planning. If you guys are not following her and you love um, budgeting content, make sure that you guys go over and check out KTW Planning. She actually sent me a copy of her budgeting sheet, and that is actually what we will be budgeting from today. I wanted to try it out and see how I like it so far. And I must say, I am, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I want to show you guys. Now I printed it out kind of small. I think I'm going to print it a little larger. I just wanted to make sure that it would fit on the sheet, but y'all, it got a whole bunch of colors in it. Like I like it got ice cream, pieces of cake and stuff. So, so y'all know. So bear with me if you guys are not able to see, but, um, I just want you guys to listen along if you're not able to see what I wrote, but, um, let's just start. So this is July 10th pay. Like I said, this sheet is so, so cute. It has everything you need on one sheet guys. So I know I said, I love the ones I had before, but I'm kind of digging this and this helps you to not forget anything in your budget. Again, shout out to KCW planning. Thank you so much, girl, for sending me this. This has been nothing but a blessing. I didn't have a chance to use it before now, but let me tell you, I might be, I might be using this going forward. You know what I'm saying? And so 
You start out here with the date, which is July 10th, like I said before. And this little box here, you can put your rollover. So I had $362 worth of rollover in my bank account already in my buffer. So I had $362. My projected amount um, that I thought this paycheck would be was $1,100. My actual paycheck was $2,187. Woo-hoo! Sis was rocking up that overtime, baby. Okay. So let's not get too excited because I know I'd be loud or whatever. Sorry, y'all, if you got headphones in. So we're starting out with 2187 Let me get the calculator. Oh, you want to fight with me today? Okay. We got our calculator. Now, starting out, we are going to be paying WSSC, which is my water bill. So let's start out with our $2,187 on the calculate or um, for WSSC, which is our first expense, our first fixed expense that we have to pay. The projected amount or the estimated amount was $67. The actual was $69 with the fees and the taxes for making the payment through the app. So we're going to subtract $69 from that amount, which leaves us with $2,118. We also have to play Ulta Beauty, which is one of my credit cards. I believe the credit card may have been like $30, but I'm almost done paying this card. So I kind of want to aggressively pay towards it. So instead of $30, we will be paying 55 so minus 55 that leaves us with 2063 next is capital one card which the minimum to pay is 25 dollars, or the projected amount to pay was 25 dollars. we're actually going to pay 35 we do want to try to get these cards down so minus 35 that leaves us with 2028 dollars next we are going to have to pay bg and e baltimore gas and electric our gas and electric bill which the projected or the estimated amount before was 155 but as you guys know it's hotter than a mug outside okay we've been running the air condition so our new budget billing amount is going to be 215 dollars so subtract 215 from that that leaves us with 1813 dollars next we have to pay for planet fitness our gym membership because baby we can't be getting our money together and we sit down here looking like a roly-poly so we gotta get it's mind body soul finances spirituality or oh, we gotta get everything together so our gym membership is 26 dollars so we can subtract $26 from that, that leaves us with $1,787. And as you can see, I added up everything and I brought the leftover down here to $1,878. One thing I noticed is when my budget was a lot smaller, I was not able to get to my savings challenges like I wanted to. And that's another thing that I really like about this sheet. Again, shout out to KTW Planning, okay, because you did that with this sheet. Um, savings challenges are next and you know, it allows me to not forget about savings challenges in my budget, even though it may be a small amount that I'm putting towards it. So I know that I had a whole bunch of other goals this month, so I didn't want to do too much. So I put my July Sailor Moon challenge. Um, I put $10 for that. So subtract $10. And then I also put $10 for the Oshi Budgets Challenge to see where I can put the $10 in that challenge. So minus $10 for that. And that leaves us with $1,767. And that's what I brought down from here. We will also be doing our um, Penny Challenge from Betty and Budgets. But as you guys know, the Penny Challenge comes from the change that is left over. I, leave, I used um, this jar to save the change. So we have a pretty decent amount of change. I'll see if I can get my daughter to help me when we do that video so we got our savings challenges taken care of and we have one thousand six one thousand seven hundred and sixty seven dollars left in our budget so next we're going to move over to our cash envelopes or our variable expenses and as you guys know our variable expenses well, for me are most like likely the same all the time so i did make one change for myself instead of giving myself 25 dollars, i'm giving myself 35 dollars to try to last all the way into the two-week period until i get paid again so we're going to subtract 35 
That leaves us with 1732 Mackenzie F. Baby, please save the baby. She's getting $15, so let's subtract the $15 from that. And that leaves us with $1,717. Chocolate is also getting $15, so, so let's subtract the $15 from that amount, which leaves us with $1,702. Next is gasoline. Gasoline always gets $150. Subtract $150 from that. That leaves us with $1,552. Next is fast food. I always say, oh, I don't eat fast food or whatever. We're going to give me $10. Who knows? I might want to call or something like that so subtract ten dollars from that that leaves us with one thousand five hundred and forty two dollars next is mikasa our household products and our things for our household we're going to do twenty five dollars so subtract twenty five dollars from that that leaves us with one thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars next we're going to do self-care self-care also gets twenty five dollars self-care covers usually like braiding hair hair products body care, anything that is self-care related, you know, usually outside of indulgent things like ice cream and everything like that. It's more like, you know, things that we need to care for our personal care usually goes towards me and my daughter. That's $25. So subtract $25 from that. That leaves us with $1,492. Next is miscellaneous. You never know. Something may pop up. You don't, you didn't plan for. So I usually put between $10 and $15 for that. This week I put $10. So subtract $10. That leaves us with $1,482. Last but not least is love because we love to love. And this is just in case I see anyone that is less fortunate or someone asks me for some change or a dollar. I'll have some dollars to give them. So we usually take five. So subtract five from that. That leaves us with $1,477. Wait a minute. It's supposed to be... 1482 Somewhere I must have messed up guys, but we're not going we're going to put it on 1487 I mean 1482 dollars Somewhere I must have messed up. Y'all know pressing, calculating with the fingernails and everything like that. But I did go over this like three times before I recorded this video. So I'm sure it's just a mistake somewhere within my subtracting. But I did go over this and I've already taken the money out. So all of my numbers do add up. I'm just making a mistake probably while I'm recording. But we're not going to let that hold us back. Everything's going to add up. Watch when we do our um, cash stuffing. So that, would leave, that should leave us with $1,482. Um, so then that's what we're not taking care of debt because she has debt here. So we're not taking care of debt and we're not take, she has another, um, section for other. We're not dealing with either one of these. Next, we're going to go over to our sinking funds and our sinking funds. We're starting with our buffer. We are going to put $25 in our buffer. So minus 25 from that amount leaves us with 1,457. Our car insurance, we are, my car insurance is a, re, a renewal period for my car insurance. Uh, when I get paid again, I have to renew my car insurance. So I went ahead and I did half of that amount. I don't have to renew my car insurance until I get paid again, but I didn't want such a large amount coming out of my paycheck. And I do have to pay a down payment of like 300 and something dollars. So I just went ahead and subtracted um uh, excuse me so i went ahead and subtracted 125 dollars so subtract 125 that leaves us with 1332 my car note is due on august the 4th so because i don't want again a large amount i split my new car note which is 515 dollars i split it in half so that it doesn't have to be so much coming out of one paycheck. So we're going to subtract 260 from that, which, oh man, hold on. I made, I made a mistake. Hold on. So let's start with back on 482 minus 25 minus 25. Okay. So we are with 1,332 subtract 260 from that. That leaves us with $1,072. 
Then I had to factor in my groceries. So we are subtracting 150 for that. That leaves us with 922. My vacation, I am taking a trip to Atlantic City in the next two weeks, guys. I've been working super hard and I've never really been on a vacation. So I am treating myself to a trip. I'm going to drive up to Atlantic City and chill on the beach. Um, so we budgeted, does that say 350? 350, so we're subtracting 350 from 922, which is going to leave us with 572. I'm going to put back $70 in my emergency fund, so minus 70. That leaves us with 502. And really quickly about my emergency fund, because remember, I almost basically depleted my emergency fund for my down payment. I am still receiving a refund back from the total loss of the car. I'm just waiting for them to process all of the paperwork for them to pay off the uh, remaining balance on the loan that I owed and then they will send a payment to me in a, um, approximately a thousand dollars and most of that will go back towards my um, emergency fund because my emergency fund I believe was at 700 when I um, took I believe I took 600 out of my emergency fund but when we get to that we'll be replenishing that which will be probably in a, the next week or so so we're good you know then Christmas, so we're going to subtract $50. We're going to put towards Christmas because we did take a little something out of Christmas to try to get the down payment, which brings us down to 452 I also have that dental procedure that I'm going to have to get done soon, so I'm taking 50 out for that. Subtract 50 from 452 That leaves us with 402 Then I'm going to also create a, another car fund. I do have a very good warranty on my new car. So, um, if there's something malfunctions or something needs to be repaired, I do have a $100 deductible that I would have to pay. So I do want to build up some money for my car fund, also for car washes, uh, oil changes, car maintenance and stuff like that. So we're going to subtract $100 from that. That leaves us with 302. Then miscellaneous, because you never know what's going to happen. I'm going to subtract $100 to keep it miscellaneous for that. That leaves us with $202. My business envelope, I do want to put some money towards my business envelope. So we're going to add $52. So subtract $52. That leaves us with $150. And I need to start building the kids binder back up. They have money for school clothes, but the kids spent some money when they went with my mom out to eat and everything like that and they took the money out of their sinking fund so we're going to put $75 in the kids binders so subtract $75 from that and last but definitely not least I'm going to put $75 in my binder specifically for myself I've been learning here lately you can't bust your tail wide open doing everything for everything and everybody else baby you got to look out for yourself so $75 will be going to Marquita so subtract 75 from 75 and that leaves us with zero dollars that is a zero based budget I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, guys, leave me a cupcake emoji in the comments. Let's see who I wa who's watching my videos all the way to the end. I know I ramble and I know I be talking, but I, I just want to know who, who, who rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Who watching me? All the way through my mess, my messes ups, my mixes ups, and all of that. So leave me a cupcake, leave me a cupcake emoji in the comments. You guys can also throw some pink and purple heart emojis in there if you want to, because y'all know I love pink and purple heart emojis. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. This journey could not be done without the love and support from you guys. Thank you for 1K. Don't forget, if you have not checked out my giveaway video, I am giving away a hundred dollar cash app. Make sure you run on over there and enter that. And until the next video, period. I love y'all. Bye.